In this video, I'm gonna show you how you can control LightKey with ProPresenter. So I have LightKey and ProPresenter running on a computer right in front of me here. And watch what happens when I click the first slide of ProPresenter, it's gonna turn on the lights in LightKey. Magic. So give me a few minutes, I'll show you exactly how to get this set up. If we haven't met yet, my name is Jake Goslin. I'm the creator of churchfront.com, helping you lead gospel-centered and tech-savvy worship. So make sure you subscribe to the channel so you don't miss out on any of our latest content to help you grow yourself and grow your worship ministry. So here are the different pieces that are gonna have to come together in order for this to work for your setup. First, you're gonna need ProPresenter 6. That's what I have right here on this computer. And then you're gonna need Light Key um, because obviously this video is about getting Pro presenter to control light key. Uh, but then you may need this add-on if you don't have it already. Go to Pro Presenter Preferences, go to Modules, hit Demo Modules, and you need to have the MIDI module because Pro Presenter makes you pay for the additional MIDI functionality. So then when you go to the Communications tab here, once you have it demoed or you purchase the MIDI module, it's gonna show up here um, and it'll be ready to go. And I'm just gonna delete this so I show you how to do this from scratch. And then the last thing you're gonna need to do is smash the like button on this video. And then we're ready to dive in. In this tutorial, I'm gonna show you how to get these pieces of software talking to one another when they're running on the same computer. Chances are this is a situation you're gonna be in if you have one computer in your tech booth at your church and you want these pieces of software to start talking to one another. And to do that, we are going to use the IAC driver on your Mac. So go to the Audio MIDI setup app on your Mac. If you can't find it, just search it in Spotlight up here and and go to window, go to show MIDI studio, and then get really frustrated at the MIDI server glitching on you. Thanks so much, MIDI network server. There we go, just restart the app if it doesn't work, and then go to IAC driver, and then here you need to create a new IAC driver bus. So what we're gonna do is click plus, the plus button right here, and then, oh, I added two of them accidentally. And then we are going to rename this bus. I want to join worship leader school. So we've created our IAC driver. Make sure you name it. I want to join worship leader school or else it's not gonna function properly. Hit apply. And now that IAC driver is created. So first, let's make sure that ProPresenter is able to send out MIDI signals because we're sending signals from ProPresenter to the IC driver, then into light key. So we need to make sure that the preferences are set right for ProPresenter. Go to that fancy new little communications module that you have, go to add device, go MIDI. And then you want to select the proper destination. Select, I want to join Worship Leader School as the proper destination. Um, and then that's all you have to do. Just make sure this one is checked, ignore everything else. You didn't, nothing to see here. And then hit the connect button for output. You'll see one out of six. So that means ProPresenter is, is able to start sending MIDI output. Um, you're good to go there on ProPresenter's end. Now on light keys end, go to preferences, go to external control. And then this is where you're gonna configure your external control for, for MIDI ports. So um, go to the inputs and then you'll notice the IAC driver is not showing up. The proper one's not showing up. That's because for some weird reason, light key has to be restarted in order for you to see everything properly. So it's good for you guys to see this not working for me so you know how to troubleshoot it when you come across these problems. So restart light key, open up that project again, hit all okay don't even read what it says just hit okay and then go to input and then voila i see driver i want to join worship leader school input make sure the input is selected there and we're set to go. Now LightKey can receive those MIDI commands from the IAC driver, which is receiving MIDI commands from ProPresenter. The next thing you need to do in LightKey is make sure you have MIDI notes assigned to the different cues within LightKey. So we already have MIDI notes assigned to our cues because we use Ableton Live. I have an Ableton project that sends notes over to LightKey because we automate all of our uh, lighting changes. But if you need to set this up for the first time, you're not automating Ableton Live like a real worship leader, um, just go to create a new cue make a new button, fader, whatever cue you want it to be. Um, and then go to the right window here, the external control window. 
and then you see I have all my MIDI triggers uh, already created. Uh, what you can do is hit the little plus icon and you'll be able to add a new note. So see how I just added G5. If I click plus, it'll have G sharp five. And I have a couple empty uh, MIDI notes that can be assigned to a trigger so or assigned to a Q. So I'm gonna go ahead and go to Q and then I'll go down to Q1, that's the one we just made. And then I like to just have it as activate. You can choose if you want to toggle the lights, flash the lights, activate the lights. I prefer activate. Um, and now that's ready to go. So that's how you do that manually. So anytime that light key receives the F sharp five note, Q1 here or whatever we're gonna name it is going to be activated, but I don't need that. I already have my cues made. I'm gonna go ahead and also delete this cue. So now light key is ready to start receiving these notes from Pro Presenter. So let's head on back over to Pro Presenter. And let's say we wanna have a certain look for the song King of My Heart. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to tell Pro Presenter to send the right MIDI note to light key to cue up the right scene. So this is like a purple blue look. Let's do the purple scene right here. So this is the scene in light key. I'm gonna right click on it, external control. You can see we have note D5 assigned to this scene. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go to Pro Presenter. I'm gonna to go to add cue, add communication cue, MIDI, note on. And then I'm gonna tell it to be, I already forgot. I have a really bad short term memory, D5. I'm gonna tell it the note to be D5 here. Man, it's so much easier just doing this with Ableton. Um, okay, wow. D5, right there. And then intensity, I guess we'll just make that 127, all or nothing. And then channel one, done. Okay, let's turn these off. And you know what, let's just put these side by side so you guys know there's no trickery and editing happening here. Let's see if it's gonna work. So when I click on this slide in ProPresenter, theoretically, the purple lights should turn on. Three, two, one. Oh, look at that. Purple lights came on because it is cued from this slide. But what if we wanted to have the band lights turn on? What if we wanted the house lights to dim down for the worship setting? Well, that's very easy to do. So for band lights, the note is C sharp eight. So I'm just gonna go to the same slide, media cue behavior. I'm gonna go to add a MIDI note on, and then I'll just go to C sharp eight. Man, I'm blind. Okay, there we go. Intensity 127. Done. Oh man, now the band lights are on. So as you can see, this is really, really simple. You just gotta know the MIDI notes. You gotta have them communicating to each other via the IAC driver, and you can start adding whatever cues you want. And there's one more thing you can do to really take this whole setup to another level. Go to your web browser, and then visit worshipleaderschool.com, and then go to the Join Now button, and then select a date when you wanna hop on a call with me fill this out and then fill out the application form after that. And then we can talk about whether or not worship leader school is going to be the right fit to help move things along for you. If you're not a worship leader, but you're a worship tech leader or worship tech team member, then go over to worshiptechschool.com where you can do the same thing. It's technically not launched yet as of the recording of this video, but you can join the wait list and you will know when Worship Tech School is available. We've got a ton of courses that go way more into depth. So if you're looking at Pro Presenter and Light Key and you're like, I don't know how to run either one of those pieces of software, I don't have time to show you how to use these pieces of software in a YouTube video. So Worship Leader School, Worship Tech School, depending on what role you have in your ministry, those will show you in depth how to get all this stuff up and running. You will be a complete ninja with the latest and greatest software for worship. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is how you automate Light Key with Pro Presenter. Thanks so much for watching this video. If you found it helpful, smash that thumbs up button and share it with your friends in ministry and even share it with your mom. And don't forget to subscribe to the Church Fund channel so you don't miss out on any of our latest content to help you grow yourself and grow your church.